Hi, welcome back on templates. So we go to file, templates, manage templates. And from here, we learn in the previous video about how to filter that, how to choose by category and so on. Today, we want to learn about uh, the tools we have in here in the bottom. First, we have settings. Let's see what, what tools we have uh, here. First, let's see what category do we have. So the last one is style. Let's create a new category name test one. So let's see, we have here test one. Let's add another one, uh, test two. We have here test two. Let's delete a category, let's delete test two. Okay. So let's move agenda two to test, test two. Now let's see, test two, it's agenda and also test one. Let's refresh. We have test one and test two uh, in spite of deleting before. Maybe it's a bug here. Let's refresh. We have test one, test two. Uh, let's open a template so we can edit the document. Let's go back to file templates, manage templates and let's delete test two. So now we don't have this category anymore. Uh, now let's learn about move. So test two, we want to move to my template. So a copy will be moved. Let's go to test two. And now let's see this option, this new button, uh, online extension. So we have many extension, for example, this calendar creator, we can add some events and we can print them in a um, um, calendar made in LibreOffice. So let's download from here. Let's uh, save it in documents. Let's open. Let's see, for example, what is doing this project. Um, for example, we have here some events that uh, will appear in a calendar. Let's uh, add our events. So let's add here. Uh, we want some events. First event, event name one. And this will be in February 15. And the year is not okay. So let's change here. 2020 and here 20. So now it's correct. So uh, the year is okay. So and let's create a new event, event name two. This will be in March and in 16. So it's okay. Now let's try to see what this um, template is doing. Let's see March. We have this event president day. And in March, let's uh, open, let's preview. We have here event name two, we add on March. So uh, very easy to use. Let's see another template we can use. Let's go further. We have here a medical ID card, for example very useful when we uh, don't feel okay and we have maybe an accident or something and we need some care and we need some medication and we need others to know what we uh, need who we are and so on so in case of emergency uh, we need to enter our name we have here to write our name, John Doe, and primary condition, um, 
medication, allergies, uh, our doctor name and so on, phone number and so on. So after that we can print this and we can have in our pocket uh, with us everywhere we go. Okay, so very useful for emergency cases. Let's go over here. We have some categories. You can use this. Let's see, for example, accounting. Let's see what we have. We have book. Let's uh, choose a, sim uh, a book, a simple book. Let's download. Let's save it here. Now let's open. So everything gets arranged. Uh, on the first pages, we don't have a uh, page number. We have a uh, content. Um, everything is already done with page number from from now on with um, different kind of styles for title for sub chapter and so on okay so very easy to insert a new chapter to change the text from here and um, to write our book uh, which is already uh, arranged in this uh, page and page like you have seen here if you like this uh, arrangement. Let's go to see short story manuscript template. I don't know what this could be useful, but some people use it. So let's see. We have here. I don't know what is useful, but we have this model here in order to change and to use this document. Let's see more. Let's change the category here. Let's use music. So we have um, music sheets. Uh, very useful if we want to uh, print them in order to use it for that person that uh, are in this field of music. Oh, it's not that, sorry. Is, is this one. So very simple. We just print them and use it for our children, for our students and so on. Let's go to see another category, another example. Let's go to budget. And here we have, for example, a goal oriented budget template. So uh, let's see how this could be very useful. Um, if you are a person who don't like to create spreadsheets, it's very easy. You just open this and month by month you enter here how many expenses do you have how incomes do you have uh, you have here some um, analysis uh, done by this how your progress is and total for years and so on so for a very uh, organized person is very useful so we recommend this So these are templates. These are templates made by some other people and saving you a time in order just to open and adapt these models um, in your style. Let's see, move. For example, I want to move test two to business. Let's go to business. You can see test two is here, so very easy. Now let's see export and import. Let's see import first. Let's import in my templates. What we want to import, let's import short story manuscript. 
let's go. We have here, you can see on the left, short story manuscript. Every time we open LibreOffice, we will find this here. Now, invitation model, we want to export. Let's export to video. Okay, so we learn now to export. Let's go to export to video on the left. So I have invitation exported uh, like a template so we can send to someone else or use it on another computer or so on. So that was all about templates. Thank, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video. Thank you.